The Indiana baseball team has competed in 11 games so far. Our Michael Tilka and Matt Cohen are in studio to talk more about the season. Thanks, Annie. I'm here with IUSTV baseball beat reporter Matt Cohen. Matt, thrilled to have you back on the program. That's great to be here. Let's talk some IU baseball. Let's talk some IU baseball. That's right. All right, first question. The baseball team currently has 11 games under their belt. They currently sit at 6-5. and five. What are your early first impressions of the team? So, honestly, I think it's hard to gauge where this team is. They've been very inconsistent thus far. There's been some games where the offense has been great. They scored nine runs against a really strong UConn team, but they also got shut out by Tennessee earlier in the season. Pitching's been in the same way, very inconsistent, especially in that Tennessee series. But they've also had games where they've, you know, held some of the – it was against maybe lower competition like a Cincinnati or a Butler, but they've done a much better job keeping offenses in check and winning by a larger margin, but that's been really just inconsistent overall. Absolutely, and now more on to an individual status. Matt Gorski has played lights out baseball. Earlier this week, he was named the Big Ten Player of the Week after a strong showing in Coastal Carolina. Is he your MVP for this team right now? And if he isn't, who is? I don't know who else would be. He's easily the best player on this team, at least from, a, from an offensive standpoint. Um, hit four home runs over five games. He's the team leader in RBIs while missing three games. That is insane. Um, there's, not, I just, there's not enough you can say about him because he's doing everything at such a high level right now. Absolutely. And next up for this Hoosier squad, though, they're going to travel to the Pacific Northwest for the Safeco Field Tournament. What themes are you looking for for this last uh, weekend road tournament that they have? Well, I talked about inconsistency earlier, which is why my theme here is going to be consistency. Can, can something really stand as you know, a main theme throughout the whole game, no matter what it is? Would it be, you know, can, can, can hitting throughout the whole weekend be a, be a strength for the team? Can pitching for the whole weekend be a strength for the team? This is probably the most difficult stretch of non-conference games IU is going to have all year long, and such a key part for them to build a resume because we don't know if the Big Ten is going to be a good conference or not this year based on early results in non-conference play. So if some kind of consistency can emerge here, that's what I'm looking for this weekend. You mentioned how difficult of a stretch these three games are for IU. For those of you who are uninformed, IU is playing Oregon State, Washington, and San Diego. Of these three teams, which would be the best for IU's resume? I mean, Oregon State is probably the best of those three teams, so it would be easy to say that that's the best resume building piece, but I just don't know if that's a game that IU can actually win. So based on that, I'm going to say Washington because Washington's another really strong team. They went to the College World Series last year, and I think that's a much more winnable game for the Hoosiers. Fair enough, fair enough. And one final question. You mentioned that that Washington game would be the best for them. What do they need to do to beat the Huskies? I mean, simply put, the offense has got to show up. It's going to be Paulie Milto pitching, so you know you're going to get uh, at least a quality start out of him. You're going to have the chance to win that game because you're not going to have to put up 9, 10 runs to beat Washington. If the offense can show up, if Matt Gorski can do his thing, guys like the, uh, Drew Ashley and Jeremy Houston at the bottom of the lineup have been great this season. See more out of them. Keep, keep getting on base for the guys at the top of the lineup. That's the strategy for them to beat Washington. They can do that. I don't see how they lose that game with Paulie Milto pitching. Fantastic as always. 24 sports, one Cohen. Annie, Juan, back to you at the desk. Thanks, Michael and Matt. The team's 